Soul Collective. Welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive star seed tomorrow. Back with another general read for the collective. Thank you all to all of you that have liked, shared, and subscribed. Mwah. Hugs and kisses to you. To those of you that are new, welcome. Hopefully you get something out of the message or at least enjoy the vibe. Your choice. I do curse on this channel. I do use profanity. So if you don't like profanity, cursing of any kind in any way, just find another reader, okay? As long as you get the message intended for you. Gender can be fluid on this channel, so he can be a she. She can be a he. Swift the rose as you need to. If I'm talking about a masculine, I could also be talking about a feminine in the same sense, okay? This can be past, present, or future energy, that of the collective, your past persons, people around you, them, places, times, and events, okay? This could be clarity or validation for others of you. Make sure you're doing your return to senders. Call on Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron to assist you with that, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get into this read. I had to get out here in nature while I handled some business, had to stop and just give nature, you know, my love because it gives so much to me. So I'm gonna do this read outside, you know, while I'm getting grounded, okay? So let's just get into the message and see what the Holy Spirit got for us. card out is Kelly. Next card, show me what I got to do, Divine Feminine. So somebody here wants, somebody here is willing to listen now. Somebody here is willing to listen. They probably wasn't listening to you at one time before due to their pride, just they, they pride, their ego. You know? Now they, you know, feel whatever it was you were trying to tell them, whatever your intentions were with them was not to harm them or lead them or misguide them in any way. It was just, you know, you giving them some insight, that nudge, you know, that we normally get sometimes from the universe or sometimes from people that we um, hold, hold at high regards. You know, we have a lot of respect for, um, admire a lot. You know, whether we tell them or not, you know, we have ways of letting somebody know, you know, that we admire, you know, their intuition, they, you know, intellect. Okay, but somebody here is willing to listen now before they may have felt like they, you know, had it under control or the control was the issue in the first place is what I'm getting. This person may have felt like they, whatever they were doing or however they were behaving was controlling what was going on, but it really was just causing, you know, something to drift apart, drift away here. All right. But now this person is willing to um, hear you out, like listen to you now, you know. Whatever it takes to get back to you, somebody here wants to do whatever it takes. Like, just tell them what to do.
next card. I'm too invested to walk away from this karmic. This person, you know, they feel like whatever it is they have imagined or, you know, thought that they would want in this cycle, you know, in this connection that they have with somebody, they realize it now, like they put all their eggs in the wrong basket all at one time. Like they put the cart before the horse, okay? And now that this person see things clearly, they realize now that they invested in the wrong thing, the wrong somebody at the wrong time. And now they having to pay the cost, the penalty. You know, when it comes to this stag, this stagnant, this lack that they in, because this person they feel like, um, like not just emotionally, emotionally drained, but they feel financially trapped. Okay. Because they may be dealing with somebody codependent or somebody that's very needy, like emotionally codependent, financially codependent. Um, they may even have separation anxiety. Okay, this 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 they person may have like this tendency to you know grasp for straws, pull you know at the heartstring when it comes to you wanting to take another route, you know get on another path and you know opposite of what they own so they may be with somebody that's constantly giving them reason not to walk away and you know almost making it sound you know trying to make a threat sound comforting or uh important you know what i'm saying like somebody trying to stress you know they point of view you know to the point where they convinced this person that you know being there with them is not so bad it ain't gonna be better nowhere else you know what i'm saying the fourth can be significant the fourth of june fourth of july fourth of august so this could be someone's birthday this could be you know um a momentous um moment like somebody may have a family reunion around this time somebody may have a birthday around this time something may be playing around this time for somebody here you know as far as the significance in it okay so it's just a, a note you know to keep in mind when it comes to the fourth um in the months you know ahead Next card, blue Malibu boat. Could be significant to this read. Joe can be significant to this read. Next card, going toward my real happy ever after. Man or woman. But I feel like, you know, this person, regardless of what they may have, regardless of what they may um, lose out on or what they may come up short on whatever end of this cycle or you know this connection they walking out on whatever they may come up wherever they may come up short at financially emotionally um, material wise you know um, this person is still they still have faith, okay? They still have 
this ambition, you know, this determination, you know, to move forward because they don't want to keep wasting more time and dwelling on what, you know, the reality of something is in a cycle that they in. It's like, if I know what I'm faced with in this cycle, whether I stay or leave, you know, it's not going to be something that's going to leave me in a place where I'm satisfied, I'm happy, I'm content. I'm always be upset at myself and resent this person, you know, that I didn't realize, you know, I didn't ran this this connection that ran its course, you know. People just gonna have to be upset with my decision because, you know, they don't have to live in this life. It's it's what I'm getting. It's like it's something like that. It's how this person feels, it's how this masculine feeling is like you know, people gonna feel how they feel, you know. No nothing I can do about that. But I made enough mistakes. I done made a lot of bad choices that got me here. So uh, you know, one more can't be the, the one more choice or another choice, you know, that might be a bad choice don't feel like the rest you know, all these other choices. This choice feels like I'm more content with this one than the ones I made is what I'm getting. So this person, they going toward that happy ever after. It's just a determination now. Like this person may have fantasized about it at one time, may have, you know, been curious about how things would go with, you know, with you guys if it hadn't, you know, for some of you, not all of you, because some of you not going to go back to reconciling with a past person, okay, healed or not. You know what I'm saying? Some of you have already found a new person, have already connected with somebody new, you know, but that still doesn't mean the person from your past is not working on them, is not walking away from something on their end, okay? It does not change, you know, decisions you have made already, okay? But for those of you that have not made that decision and have and, you know, still single or whatever, you just mingling and enjoying life, you know, healed and um, you know, just being more, ex you know, exploring more of yourself than you used to, okay? Allowing yourself that freedom to explore, okay? Over the road truck driver can be significant to this read. Next card, close-minded about things about themselves and you, collective. So your past person at some point, you know, keep hiding is out. For, um, person you know your past person it was closed-minded about a lot of things you know when it came to them seeing things more clearly and you know allowing themselves to nip something in the bud when they had the opportunity okay this person may even be going back to when you know the first red flag came and they didn't do anything or what their reaction was but this is because this person was closed-minded about a lot of things, you know, about themselves, about you. This person was closed-minded about the things you probably were trying to get through to them about themselves, you know, themselves, their situation, you know, so that, they, so that they can better understand you because they made the situation, being closed-minded, they made the connection between you two something confusing when it didn't have to be, okay? And some, you know, they were hiding, you know, a lot. They pay this person, the person they walking away from, keep hiding things. 
you know, whether it's financial stuff like receipts or um, you know, evidence of something, you know, like either them being unfaithful or not truthful, um, being spiteful, something, somebody, she keep hiding something, whoever you walking away from, they keep hiding, you know, who they really are, what they really about. Archangel Raziel is out here. It's Leo energy. The secrets of God. What his name means. The secrets of God. So he helps decipher reoccurring dreams, thoughts, images, ideas. Um, he's the gatekeeper to divine mysteries and knowledge of the soul. So it's like when you in hermit mode and you, you know, doing some soul searching and you, you know, just looking at an overview of things about your life, about choices, about certain situations, um, certain occasions, you know, that may have come up that, you know, take you back to a moment where, you know, you had to make some important choices and you, you know, questioning them things. And you may, some of you, either your person or you collective is having some reoccurring dreams, like your past person, our ex lover, this person more recent. This is for somebody more recent, like in the last, you know, three years. You know what I'm saying? Or less. Like from a year to three years, maybe four. No more than that. But it's like, um, they may keep having dreams like about you or, you know, about, you know, you and them or just about you, like maybe moving on. But this is your ancestors showing them things. And they may not understand, you know, some of the thoughts or, you know, what they minds I keep showing them, you know, or what they mean. Certain dreams may be weird, may not, you know, get the grasp, the concept of why they dreaming about this. Or, you know, they may not know the people in the dream, different stuff like that. Okay. Whether it's you or them, it's somebody's dreaming, you know, things that have meaning. They just don't know where it fits. Some of it is, you know, um, reoccurring, like it keep being the same thing, you know, and it's like, what does that mean? Like, why am I seeing this? That's what I'm getting. But this is the archangel to call on, you know, for um, help, you know, figuring that out and needing signs, you know, to be a little more clearer when you call on this archangel, you know, to ask them to make the signs and the images of whatever they you are supposed to get from this, whatever message you are supposed to be receiving, you know, ask this archangel to make it a little clearer and let them know, let this archangel know, like, what the dreams, you know, to you, you know, are about, how they make you feel, you know, just like if you talking to them in person, you know, but in prayer, all right? And make sure you ask, you know, if it's the answer is to be shown to you in a dream that you remember the dream when you awake, when you awaken. Okay. So somebody here may need to keep a dream journal, might need to write it down, jot it down somewhere, whatever the bits and pieces are that you remember. Um, so that you can go back to it, you know, even if it's something reoccurring. But somebody here in the energy is dreaming about somebody else, you know, situations that, you know, that keep reoccurring, you know. So it might be thoughts. It don't have to necessarily just be dreams. It could be thoughts that somebody's having that keep, you know, coming up, like something they keep going back to, okay? And they may not know why they keep going back to this thought or that particular situation or moment. And this is the archangel you call on to, you know, gain clarity, you know, with that. Okay. But I also look this archangel up, you know, to get more insight about how and what, you know, this archangel helps with. Okay. Somebody could be into BDSM, bondage, discipline, submission.
Yeah, so somebody could be into, you know, like bondage, like, you know, um, like feathers, whips, you know, like little, you know, gadgets like that. Like being tied up. Um, they might, you know, like some type of like soft torture or, you know, humiliation of some kind. Man or woman, so this could be your past person. They could be into this. You could be into this. Or, you know, whoever they walking away from could be significant. And she the privilege and title type, okay? Trick them out of his soul, mate. You know, you try. car seeing the error in my ways they bread crumbs love spell denied child when it come to this person being tricked out of their soulmate union this person you know may have a, a, you know, went to a practitioner um, with they past person, with the person they walking away from. They may have, you know, even, you know, together, you know, at home, wherever they reside at or whatever business they have or whatever business they went to, okay, to get something done. By this masculine being a partner to somebody here in the divine union, this person participated in something or they paid to have something done toward a divine being like themselves. You know what I'm saying? So it is like a divine masculine or distorted divine masculine, like, or a false masculine. You know what I'm saying? Um, getting some divination done to like bring somebody, it's like doing a come to me spell, shit like that. But somebody did a love spell on somebody here to try to, you know, pull them back in, you know, or, you know, slow, you know, them down in whatever direction they're going in toward. Look, or somebody going toward their happy ever after. So your past person, you know, your ex-lover, they could have tried to do a love spell, you know, to try to keep you from falling out of love with them or keep you from, you know, um, loving anybody else you know, beyond them, okay? Or your past person's person did this to try to keep him. Either way, this backfire caused, you know, this spell to be denied because of who was involved, you know, who this was going toward. And this was going toward a divine feminine, okay? Or a divine masculine or both. But by this masculine being in this karmic cycle, you know, I feel like this person participated. I feel like they either went to a practitioner and, you know, tried to get something done, get a reading done, and they decided on this, so they may have been suggested, you know, to try this or whatever, or they may just went to them and wanted this done. You know what I'm saying? Over a period of time, because whoever this masculine is, he hadn't heard from you. You know what I'm saying? So over time, they have come to see things clearly. Like, they done sorted some things out. But they have also realized just how far off the mark they are when it comes to you. You know, they very behind, you know, in this cycle, you know, for them to try to catch up with you. You know what I'm saying? But this love spell denied, but it also knocked this person out of their divine union because they ended up participating or just, you know, guilty by association because they may have known that the person they with is in the divination, maybe a dark witch, you know, maybe part of a dark coven or just a group of, you know, mis-aged women. But they do, you know, some low-down shit when it comes to people in their love life. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to their love life, okay? When it comes to, you know, just them being involved with somebody they feel like, you know, is a meal ticket for them. This person, you know, she's shady as fuck, but 
she also shape, exposing her children to dark magic and rituals. Like I said, they could have been doing this shit at home. You know, in the privacy of their own damn home or whatever, you know, the get togethers they have or whatever, you know, this is what come of this shit and the kids is there. Okay? And these kids, it's kids, but they may not know exactly what this called, you know, in order for them to be able to tell, tell, tell somebody about it, you know. But kids mimic what they see, you know what I'm saying? And kids' energy is just as potent and valuable, you know, to the evil side of things than, you know, chosen ones. You know what I'm saying? Because kids carry a lot of gifts, too. I mean, exposing them to this only makes them slick learn this shit, you know, without trying. Because they're children, you know. Like I said, there's somebody hiding, you know, but somebody was a runner at one time. Okay? But don't second guess yourself, collective. Somebody definitely, this, your past person, they definitely was a damn runner now. that was also you know like I said they this person done been under some divination too by dealing with this woman that's why they invested as much as they did because by the time they realized they had they were so you know deep off into responsibility you know in this connection that you know they started feeling like they were stuck financially with this person okay child this person missed a view of that thing from behind child he was uh -uh. person lost their gifts for good this person gonna have to go back Second guess what your mind size shows you. Don't do that. That's why I said call on this archangel. You know, if you having issues with, you know, having to read somebody here or, you know, a thought that you keep having or something that seems like you keep imagining or whatever. Yeah, a lot of times people be sending shit to you to make you think a certain way about somebody or a certain situation or whatever, it ain't nothing but a whole damn illusion. Next card, pray for someone like you and I've ghosted you and betrayed you. Okay? When they did this divination, when they, you know, realized, you know, what they had done, this person had to, was too far in. You know, they had already done did, you know, participated, knew about the divination or whatever, and didn't do shit. Didn't stop it. They, they may have, like I said, did this at home around, you know, where they live at with their kids, you know, did a little ceremony, a ritual or whatever, and child, the, the woman he with knew that this was going to do this. And if she didn't, she didn't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like, she knew what she wanted, you know, to happen when it came to them moving on to anybody else, not just you, okay? But you're a jack of all trades. I mean, you got talents, you got a shitload of creativity, okay? Whoever you are, you're very creative. Like any, It's like anything you touch or decide you wanna, you know, do, you know, it works out for you. Somebody got anger management issues and they're gonna be all right. Somebody is a plus size woman lover, so your past person could like plus size women. You know, more cushion for the pushing. I'm with it. Gary can be significant to this read. 
So if you have put on some little weight here and there, this person still likes how you look. It still look good on you. Be your authentic best self, collective. Don't do your life for nobody, sweetheart. Man or woman. But your past person, you know, they person, you know, could be in they, they rah rah energy. You know, we're on that, on that humbug. But, uh, they can get it. They definitely can get it. This person might not know that you cut like that, but, you know, when it comes to you having to stand your ground, you'll do what you need to do. Okay? And if you don't have to do shit, you ain't gonna do shit. Don't mean that you, you know, not a problem solver. Some folks just need to know when to walk away. Cause some folks like to provoke stuff just to see, you know, what they can, you know, what your triggers are, what they can, you know, get you to move on. And next thing you know, your vibe, vibration starting to get low and you start feeding into that shit. And before you know it, you know, got a whole bunch of negative shit coming towards you day after day after day so you got to keep your vibration high because some folks send negativity your way for something to trigger you every day because they don't want your vibration high they're doing you know the most on the back end trying to you know send the evil eye and all this other negative shit your way to fuck your day up so when you feel yourself having you know somebody piss you off or you know what i'm saying and you take it personal or something you need to think of something positive you know quote you know or repeat some affirmations about yourself you know to get your mind out of that you know uh out of that element you know what i'm saying embrace your inner thoughts at this time that's why the archangel is out here i'm telling you like somebody thoughts you know what your mind's eye shows you and the things that you manifesting it's like value them things that you know you admire about yourself you know tell yourself them things you know that you know you good at the things that you know uh, are unique about you okay embrace that that's that's just you know your authentic side you know what i'm saying it's what makes it's what sets you apart from you know other people you know It's what makes you so highly sought after, so, you know, unforgettable, okay? A lot of people can be replaceable at times. Depends on what your values are, okay? But those values, thing, those things that, your values are things that you know to be valuable about you, not what other folks, you know, um, point out. Because if it was up to them, they wouldn't point out shit. They'll point out more about them than you. So you have to know, okay? childhood traumas appetite isn't the same since you've been in my age tell me this person they the things that they experiencing it behind the choices they done made and the things they see now in a you know the things that they needed to see is clearer now the picture is is not as blurred and foggy as it used to be. This person having restless days and nights over you, their appetite. This person loves sick. Okay? When you look up, you know, a person being love sick, it comes with a lot of different um 
it comes with a lot of different levels to it, you know, how it affects, you know, a person. An unexpected knock on the door for somebody here it could be around the 4th of June, July, August. Like I said, it, the 4th, you know, could be significant to someone here. So just keep that in mind when it comes to this read, all right? Second, also, the fifth, too, can be significant in June, July, and August. Putting your happiness first, as you should. This is the collective. And some people forget to do that when they, you know, in the process of, you know, trying to be genuine and loving to somebody, you know, that's, is not awakened, you know. Overuse of divination. What I tell you, I'm talking about your person, your past per, your 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 person, your past person's person. This couple, okay, whoever he went, you know, and chose and was with and all that right there, child. That overuse of divination caused this person to miss out on this union. It bumped them out of their fucking country, not only on in the you know ethers, but just you know with between what you would would have felt like was a twin flame, you know, even a soulmate connection. You know what I'm saying? And even though you guys may have be in a twin flame or soulmate connection, counterpart union, um, or even uh, soul ties, you still gonna feel, you know, a pull when it come to them, but it won't be like a come to me spell. It won't be an illusion. It'll be something that just naturally happens, you know, because of the contract, you know what I'm saying, because of the energy. You know what I mean? But the free will of you choosing this person comes with its own set of consequences. January 2nd can be significant to this read. January 2nd this year could be significant to somebody here. Like I said, divine feminine, divine masculine turn karmic now. Like this is a distorted divine masculine, or this is a, just a false masculine. Scorpio feminine. Next card, tell me what to do to make things right with us again. I'm telling you, this person willing to listen now. They were a positive image hater. And positive image hating ain't got nothing. To, it don't just stop with you collective on the feminine. It, it, it's the person. It's your past person, too. They don't want to see your past person elevate either. Because it's easier for them to control them when they low vibrational. Anybody low vibrational is easy to control when your vices and, and the things that triggers you and stuff like that get your attention faster than, you know, real authentic you know genuine shit fake love even get you know low vibrational people attention somebody a time waster same energy no offer okay Person wasted a lot of time um, thinking that they were 
would be happier where they are. Okay? But for some of you, your past person, you know, for some of you, your past person, they in the same energy and they really don't have anything to offer you. You know what I'm saying? Because they invested too much into a connection with somebody on a lot of levels. Financially, emotionally, this person, you know, um, that's for some of you. For others of you, your past person person was a time waster. You know what I'm saying? They stuck in the same energy because they karmic. You know what I'm saying? They're a dark entity. This person don't have nothing to offer this masculine never did. She codependent as hell. person more attracted to the shiny things and shit. All the shit that glitters. Matthew can be significant. Next card. His karmic lover got a reading on him to see how he felt for you. Okay? That's what made this person have him, you know, part of something, you know, that was going to bump him out of this, you know, out of this union. So he may not have known that, you know, this was this would happen. Like I said, they could have went to somebody. But the overuse of divination period, when you done lost your gifts for good, you end up going to other folks, paying them. But they just is, you just as guilty still of doing this divination or being part of this divination. The minute you exchange money or agreement with each other verbally, it's still an energy exchange, okay? People think going to a practitioner, well, I got somebody else to do it. I ain't even do it. don't fucking matter. It's an energy exchange, okay? You could have telepathically talked to this damn, you know, got a message to this damn practitioner to do something for you, you know, some divination for you, and the Most High God and the universe still was going to charge that shit to you. It wasn't going to just charge this person that you paid or, you know, said something to. Well, I just mentioned that to them. I ain't tell them to do it. It don't matter. The intentions you wanted was within you. It was mentally and it was within you. It was in your energy and it came out. You want to converse with that person if you didn't expect them to do something. Okay? Next card. And she don't like what she heard in this read neither. Okay? Can't stop thinking of how I let you down and lied. And they in a tower. Your person and they person is in a tower. Okay? They may be trying to come towards you for some of you to, you know, try to lessen, you know, the weight of what's on their shoulders when it comes to, you know, what all this, this tower, these towers is affecting their finance and their health, their emotions, you know, the energy around them are getting along, being able to talk things out. That is not none of that. Okay. One, one ain't got no good luck compared to the other one when it comes to them, you know, doing all the divination and the, and the hateful shit that they did to try to stop something, slow something down without you knowing Okay, but when I'm gone, I'm gone for good. This person fucked around and found out. Okay, they didn't know when you when they ghosted you or you them ghosting you and lying and betraying you. They didn't know, you know, all that what they did when it came to you would cause them to lose you for good. You just thought, you know, if you ain't getting the results you want, you just stop with the divination any day. Anyway. So they waiting to exhale, child. Made bad moves based on a past life reading that wasn't current. And that's what happened when you're dealing with a dark entity. If somebody got a dark soul and they do readings or they go to a reader that's got a dark soul and you don't use your intuition, why that person sitting there talking to you and shit like that, if you don't realize what your past consisted of, 
you know, if you don't believe in past lives and shit like that, or knowing something is current, it, you know, in your life while this person talking, then you need to get your ass up. Because, I mean, the reading, no matter how much cheap, how much it is, how cheap it is, or how expensive it is, if you don't know yourself, how you know if the reader sitting in front of you is telling you whatever you need to know or telling you the truth anyway. This person got a dark entity, somebody with a dark soul, that they soul ain't gonna change because they the listen. Okay? This person is only gonna be shown the most high God, the universe, and their ancestors only gonna show them past life shit. You know what I'm saying? Something that happened many lives ago. Well, you was probably a whole nother damn zodiac sign. Okay? And they got, they didn't know, they didn't get anything on you that was current, but that's your ancestors doing. That's your spirit guys doing. That's your angelic angels doing. That's your most high God. That's your father's doing. Because they asked them, lost their gifts, and they karmic. They toxic and karmic and ain't nothing about the universe gonna reward them with the truth about nothing if you sitting around telling lies and spreading gossip. Okay? Like I said, his baby mama knows about you and is a dark witch. Okay? But he can thank her for, you know, making his destiny what it is. spirit guys are handling things like I said I love making spells on our mind of course it do of course it do you you got some divine being uh loving of course it's gonna stay on your mind okay because you were supposed to be in a divine union with somebody here so the sex hit different that's why you need to protect your energy be mindful of your energy person rate it all right now child when they come to, when they come to their thoughts of you it's rated all okay that's what it's rated <laughs> she know this person you know got some some feelings for you that's why she you know wanted to go and see if she was right you know she wanted to see how deep them feelings go but your glow up irritates they demons a music producer can be significant to this read. Coming to an event near you in hopes of seeing you, Divine Feminine. Internet addictions. Okay. Somebody here can't stay their ass off the internet from watching you and anybody else they used to be with. Or it might be interested in. This person's head was in the internet when you was with them. Okay. I'm talking about they was... Uh, Buried in the internet, fell asleep looking on the internet, on, online. Shit. Some folks, some children go to bed, go to sleep to bedtime stories that you reading to them. This person here, they went to sleep uh, the minute their eyes got dry enough to close. If they can barely close them. And this person stay in the internet. They stay on their damn phone. If they ain't on their phone, they on some, some, they on some gadget looking at, at some females. Even when they got one. Okay. But whatever goes on in your city, you know, in your state, in your city, you know, around this time or around July, August, and, and June, this person going to, you know, try to find themselves at that, especially if you have known to share this with them, that you have certain things you go to, you know, where you stay. They Y'all may stay in two different states, two different cities, two different you know, may say states apart. Um, the thing is, this person then thought about some of the things you, you go to, that you go uh, be part of, and, you know, things your city may be known for. This person may pick one of them events to go to in hopes of seeing you because you don't mention to this person you go to these things. Okay? So that's why these dates, you know, may be significant. So whether you need to write them down, whether you can come back to the read, you know, whoever this reading resonates with. Taylor can be significant to this read. This person could have been your sneaky link or you could have been a sneaky link. Just didn't know it. 
Sunflower can be significant to this read. somebody's favorite flower music producer out here again child so some of you uh if not you know somebody here in this reading in particular dated a music producer maybe a couple years ago three years ago two years ago since you guys you know what i mean being spiritually guided this is the divine being pop man this dude got some community shit bro look at him Somebody, baby, take a number. Cause somebody here done pulled this man number. They done had they done pulled this they, they done pulled a number on this dude before. Somebody done pulled their number and they done came up and I mean ain't ain't no telling what number, what female this this the next female ain't no telling what number they got. Cause people been pulling numbers on this on this here wood for a while. <laughs> For a while, the roll, the, the the tape, or the numbers on the tape, probably done started over now. At this point, a chef can be significant to this read. Forty-eight. Somebody could be forty-eight here. Man or woman. For some of you, this person helped your family mentally abuse you out of anger, like they, you know. Instead of them supporting you and having your back when it came to family saying things out of the way or treating you, you know, um, purposely, you know, like an outcast or, you know, saying things, you know, about you that wasn't true or trying to belittle you in some way, discredit you in some way around this your, your past person, you know, unbeknownst to you or whether you have been around your family with this person and they, your family, you know, or they done told you how your family talk crazy, or they done picked up on it. Y'all may have talked about it. You know what I'm saying? But this person helped them mentally attack you and, you know, say things, you know, by the stuff that they treated you, you know, the stuff that, the ways they betrayed you and lied to you. This was part of the same thing your family was doing to you, too. Like, you know, doing underhanded shit under, you know, shit behind your back that, you know, made things hard for you, even in, in in relationships here, okay? And this person may have picked up on your family being mentally abusive towards you, but then they ended up being part of the goddamn clique, you know, when it came to them trying to control you, you know, betraying you and lying to you and, you know, just misusing you, mishandling you. But they, by them doing this, they determined how... They determined the karma and the punishment, okay, when they was doing this. This is what determined what karma they got when it came to you, bad or good, okay? First, middle, or last initial R can be significant to this read. Shit ain't so funny now, okay? They made a side around and laughed and, and joked and stuff when you guys stopped talking, you know, or when, you know, you was halfway out the door or when this person would call them to vent or whatever about something going on with you, you know, behind your back or whatever. But shit, shit ain't funny now. Okay. CNA can be significant to this read. Person addicted to the attention of others anyway. A whole masculine child. Wants to get with you and keep you isolated from others. The same thing your family was like. Somebody here, your family, you know, done told people shit around you that, that may know you and don't even know you. You know, even past lovers that you may not even be with no more. They done told them shit that make them treat you a certain type of way to where they distance themselves. They, you know, leave you on red sometime or don't text you right back. You know, wait days before they text you. Stuff like that. Because... Your, your family done threw enough shade and salt, they, you know, your way when it came to, you know, people taking a liking to you, your family hurry up and try to do something, say something to change, you know, their way of looking at you or loving you or accepting you, appreciating you, all that shit. But this person, they attention, you know, hungry. Like they, try, a dude like this is just so, such a damn turn off. It's, it's, 
it's even more pathetic and more of a turn off to see a man like this, I swear. If you need that much damn attention, damn, you, you don't need nobody else. You all the attention you need. Shit. If you need this much attention, for how long do you need it? I mean, how long do you need to build your confidence off of this? Or are you confident enough to not need so much damn attention to others? Everybody's attention ain't good. Some people's attention is to get your shit so they can distract you from what's going on behind your ass. That's why a lot of folks don't see, you know, get blindsided by a lot of these karmic ass friends and, and lovers because a lot of them, you know, be getting distracted by something over here on purpose. Somebody pur purposely sending you a distraction or causing a distraction over here, knowing you need to be paying attention and looking this way, knowing you the, the important shit is over here. You know what I'm saying? But it's like somebody here want to, you know, get you to a, a point of, hey, I want to, you know, I, I think, you know, we ought to work on getting back together. And the minute you do, this person still got this energy of being addicted to the internet, addicted to attention from anybody on the internet and, and those that ain't. And, hey, you sitting up in the damn house or sitting in the car while they go handle business, that type of shit, just keeping you isolated. And keeping folks from coming around you for you to feel, you know, like you got anybody to depend on and or talk to other than them. It's like a narcissist. Prey on others' pain and downfall of those she looked to benefit from. That's why your past person is, you know, got so much company when it comes to this toxicity, this, this karmic cycle. Because out of anger, this person went and did some divination you know, with her towards you, and this person was in the, in the, and this way, she was doing it towards you without his help. She was gonna do this towards you regardless. Shit, she didn't even need his help. I wish I could see this. It's like a beautiful ass uh, pigeon. It's standing behind me, literally just standing behind me. Danny can be significant to this read. Next card, it's gonna be really hard imagining you with another man. Shit, might as well get used to it. You're probably dreaming about it. Regret ever hurting your feelings. Yep, but it's like I said, who laughing at? What's funny now? Going over what they are going to say once they see you again. Five seven to five nine masculine. Uh, this person can be chain smoking now. Person smoking cigarettes and black. <laughs> cigarettes. Y'all, the bird. Done, I mean, the pigeon that got closer. <laughs> so it's so amazing, y'all. My God. Disregard for the law because her family holds jobs there. Okay. It is what it is, child. Some folks, like I said, you got to let them do what they feel they need to do. Let them do it, child. If you feel like your folks in the law going to be what it is, shit, drag them down, shit, drag them to hell, kicking and screaming with you. This person overuse of this divination, then damn show uh cause some bad, some backfire to happen for folks down through their family that ain't gonna see it coming. This backfire, this 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 justice ain't gonna be just for no um folks in you know in this house, in this group of folks. It's gonna extend to, you know, they bloodline. Okay. People they they care about and some that they don't. Shit, it's still gonna hit. But this is they this is your justice for them doing this to you. You didn't do none of the you didn't do no divination, you didn't do nothing toward these folks. Your past person or they person. Okay? Now somebody a damn booty bandit. Okay, don't let me find out some of y'all your past person is in, in the men too. Cause they is some community deep now, I'm telling you. Alright now, some a lot of people done pulled some numbers here. I'm telling you now. Some swift communication coming in towards you, collective. So 
It could be around June, July, August. And you got that unexpected knock on the door. Okay. Your past person and, and they person could get this unexpected knock on the door while they, you know, thinking that they family job title going to save their ass from something. Child, your past person got some sloppy seconds, child. I know they ain't talking. Girl. Mm -mm. <laughs> this person feel like they can use a big hug from you collected. Mm. Okay. For some of you, your past person, you know, is trying to manifest you back, you know, because some of you do have a, a past person here that you messed up a, a connection here um you know with the overuse of divination for others of you your past person that have done their share of you know some fucked up shit but this person is doing the work when it comes to their shadow work when it comes to you know they healing they hermit you know going in the hermit mode going within and things of that nature so some of this is a lot of you know past things that done went on Currently, a lot of, you know, for others of you, your person is getting back to the spiritual side of things because this person has suffered so many losses, which has been their karma. You know what I'm saying? This is your justice. Okay? Never had a woman cut me off the way you did. Child, Friday can be significant. Part of this person getting a lot of readings, this this your past person, person getting readings done on you because she know whatever you may know, rather they tell you or you just pick up on it intuitively, this person know you can bring them up on charges on whatever it is. Okay? Listen to my family got me feeling foolish now. Shit, yeah. You better know it did. A group of warlocks are turning on each other. So I'm going to leave it here, collective. Because somebody here, you know, got some, you know, some inner work to do that they working on. And when it comes down to, you know, them seeing things clearly, it, it don't come without consequences. The consequences of their actions is what they living out. It's what they got going on currently. Okay? But this person is still having you know that time to they self to you know reflect on some things that they genuinely feel and had you know been hiding you know from this woman okay because the divination is real okay he she was doing this way before they even got together and people she around and her family they do it too okay so her mom and you know anybody else you know that this masculine you know, has had any interaction with since he's been in this connection with her, they know what she into, okay? He may not know, have known until after he got into the picture for a while, okay? But, you know, your past person could also, for some of you, be a warlock, okay? They could be part of a, a group, too, or a secret society. They could be a mason. They could be, you know, just part of, you know, a group of men that, you know, prey on, uh, the women that they date, you know what I'm saying, and they energy, they may even do get readings done on the women they date to see, you know, what they spiritual ranking is, what they gifts are, you know, so they can, you know, try to manipulate them or, you know, just pull off their energy, you know, for abundance, but manifest, you know what I'm saying, especially when it comes to, you know, whatever this group represent, you know, whatever their goals is, what they use these, you know, women for, you know, when it comes to their energy. You know, and shit is real. All right. But that's all I got for you, collective. Um, hopefully you guys get something out of the message. Hope it helps you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Until my next read, you guys, make sure you do something nice for someone today, even if you don't know them. 
okay? Put a smile on somebody's face just because the Most High God done did so much for you. Even when you haven't done what you were supposed to do either, okay? Until next time, I love you guys, even if you don't love me, all right? So, till next time, I love you. Bye.